I've got with me in this bag some pretty old tech, yet it's still one of the best ways of harnessing the sun's energy. And by pretty old, I mean over three billion years old. Yes, it's a plant. Plants can convert the sunlight they absorb into energy for photosynthesis with 90% efficiency. And they do this while being flexible and biodegradable, something that material scientists are endeavoring for in new electronic materials. Now, plants are able to do that because of a little-known particle called an exciton. You see, when special molecules in the plant's leaves absorb the energy from the light of the sun, that energy is taken on by an electron in the molecule. And this electron, given more energy, jumps up from the other electrons, leaving behind a hole. These electrons are negative. Therefore, relatively, this hole here is positive. And our electron negative is attracted to that hole. Let's use an analogy. You, sir, could you please just stand up here for me? Excellent. So this can be our electron. And with a little bit of energy or encouragement, I've got him up out of the seat that he's left behind there, and we'll call that the hole. So, sir, if you just turn around and look at the audience, you'd like to get back down into that seat, wouldn't you, and out of the limelight. So there's some attraction there between our electron and the hole. And it's this attraction that creates the exciton. The hole and the electron are one particle, indifferent. They are an exciton. Wherever the electron or the hole move through the material, because of the attraction, they move together. Thank you, sir. Now, in the plant, this exciton, when it moves about as one single particle, it takes with it the energy that it's absorbed. This energy can therefore be transported around the plant and can be used for uh, creating sugars or converting carbon dioxide into oxygen. But the exciton can also be used in new materials made of plant-like molecules for electronics. And we call these materials organic electronic materials. Organic electronic materials use the exciton, and the exciton, once created, can then be used to create electricity in things like solar cells. And this process can happen in reverse, where the exciton created by electricity could then go and emit light later in things like TVs. Now, these plant-like molecules for organic electronics can be made into inks and plastics. And this creates the opportunity for a whole new technological landscape. I want you to imagine solar cells that are cheap and can be rolled out over the rooftops of South African wilderness. Or I want you to imagine TV screens that can be printed like newspapers. And it's that reason that because of the exciton, the plant is leading a technological revolution. <laughs> Very good.